Sorry about that, I forgot I had my snorkel on. Hello and welcome to Hot and Spicy. Today I've been told I need to go fishing to get the ingredients for the show. In this episode we'll be making a dish called Bacroni, but if you've never heard of a Bacroni fish, don't worry, as it's actually a Moroccan term for whitebait. Seeing as whitebait are teeny tiny, I thought the best way to catch some was to actually go swimming in the sea. Is there something behind me? Nah, must just be my imagination. Wait, what's that? Sh Shark! Get me out of here! Hello, I'm back in the kitchen and today I'm joined with our new guest chef, Hisham Roaz. We're making white bait today, but in Morocco, that's called bacroni, is that right? Yes, it's bacroni. It's from the north of Morocco. We call it influence, it's uh, the Spanish culture. Mm -hmm. So it gives like multi culture from the north of Morocco. So that's why we call it in the uh, for a Spanish name, it's called bacroni. Oh, right, so it's the Spanish name. It's a Spanish name, oh, okay, but it's a Moroccan dish. But it's a Moroccan yeah, dish. Yeah, it's cooked in Moroccan way. Wow, that sounds really intriguing. Bacroni is a Moroccan dish which comprises of breaded white baits. White bait is actually a collective term for a juvenile fish. The type of fish that can be considered white bait is variable and can include herring, sprat, sardines, mackerel, or bass. In England, white bait typically refers to the juvenile forms of clupeidae fish, sprats, and more commonly the herring fish. White bait is high in protein, barely has any carbs, and like most fish, is great for your skin and hair. The fried coating, however, is unfortunately not so great for you due to its oily content. Overall, however, the goodness of the fish definitely balances things out, so you don't have to feel too guilty about this delicious snack. To make the crony, you will need one and a half cups of corn flour, one and a half cups of plain flour, one tablespoon of sea salt, half a teaspoon of chili flakes, half a teaspoon of ground pepper, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, and a hundred grams per person of fresh white bait. Right, so what are we going to do then? So first of all we have to prepare the flour. So the most important for this dish is the flour. It's mm -hmm. like the flour, the mixed flour. We have the corn flour here, mm -hmm. and then we have the normal flour. We've got the sea salt, which is very important mm -hmm. from the sea salt in uh, Moroccan uh, cuisine, mm -hmm. because we don't use any normal salt. The, the sea salt is gives the flavor. Mm -hmm. It's like much of the flavor, because we are like Atlantic Sea mm -hmm. and the Mediterranean Sea. So we use just the sea salt. Oh, so okay. that's why the people, when they came um, from they come back from Morocco on holiday, they say the dishes in the restaurants here, it doesn't taste like Moroccan. Mm, and that's because the salt. That's, it's lots of things, but the most important things, the salt, they have to be sea salt, and then uh, the olive oil, have to be like extra virgin olive oil as well when you marinate mm -hmm. the, uh, the dishes. Mm -hmm. So certain things, uh, you know. Make a big difference. Yeah, exactly, make a difference. We got chili flag here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the chili flag. We got ground the uh, cracked the black pepper, mm -hmm. which is the crack, not like the smooth one. It's like when it's like this very smooth black pepper. We go in like we're gonna move to the other cuisine. It's gonna be like Indian cuisine. That's why it's mm -hmm. very important. I like to be like just cracked pepper. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we smoke paprika as well. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have like you can buy the smoked paprika mm -hmm. because it's like it makes much different from the normal paprika because the fish is like it's always like the they need something like uh, this taste of the smoky mm. uh, of the, um, the dish. Is it going to be spicy? It's not going to be really spicy because the certain of the the. The spice I'm not gonna use that much, but it just give the flavor. This is the secret as well about Moroccan dish. Mm -hmm. We know that even we using that spicy things, but we're not gonna using that much. Just mm. less, 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 little bit, little bit, just to give that touch of the flavor. So you got lots of flavor, mm. and we use the herbs as well, which mm -hmm. is we're not gonna use it for the this uh, crispies because it's easy to make. Mm -hmm. So next time we're gonna do like not. Uh, another fish is gonna use the herbs, mm -hmm. which is the very important for the um, 
the fish. Mm -hmm. So can we go to prepare it now? Yes, definitely. And then I forgot the the main thing for the dish is the white bait. So yeah. it's like fresh uh, <laughs> white bait, we call it uh, baccaroni. It's a small fish. Mm -hmm. It's a very small fish. I have to be like, to leave it in the water and then to clean it. Mm -hmm. How long uh, must you leave it in the water for? Yeah, just like just, just one one, uh, one hour to clean it, okay. and then to put like fresh uh, water again, mm -hmm. and then it have to be like icy water to keep it like fresh. Mm -hmm. Okay, corn flour mm -hmm. and plain flour. Mm -hmm. Why is it bit. important to use two different types of flour? Because it's like the corn flour is like very strong. It's, uh, the, if you use it just by yourself, it's like mm -hmm. it's gonna give that uh, taste of the corn. Mm. So it's better like to mix it, but if using the plain flour as well, it's gonna give no taste. Mm. Uh, so it's better to mix the two so flour. You, so you're diluting the corn flour basically, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so that's how we do, you know. Mm -hmm. And then, and then we have to use uh, like one big tablespoon of uh, sea salt. Mm -hmm. That is a big tablespoon. Yeah. <laughs> and then. One teaspoon or half a teaspoon of uh, the chili flake. Mm -hmm. So it's not too spicy. Yeah, it's not too spicy. And half a teaspoon of the black pepper. Uh -huh. And then one big spoon of uh, smoked paprika. Mm -hmm. After that, you mix them. Is this going to like give it quite a red complexion? Or? Yes, it's not going to be red. It's, it's going to be Pink. like. It's when you fry it, it's going to be white. So you mix the flour, mm -hmm. and after that, so it, the flour is ready. We got the fish here; is mm -hmm. ready. So it's it's quicker uh, dish. So it's ready, like to fry, and then. Wow. Yeah, so you take you this take is the exciting yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah, just like to have to dry a little bit from the water, mm -hmm. and then to put it like that. So they still need to be damp. Yep. Is that what makes it stick, just literally the dampness? Yep. And then you mix it a little bit with the flour like this. Mm -hmm. This is one, this can be one portion. Wow. Yeah, one portion for one person. If you would like... It's like a big it's handful. Like, yeah, um, 100 grams for each person. Mm -hmm. If you want to prepare it at home, you know. Mm -hmm. And now we go to the deep fryer. So is it important to deep fry the um, white bait? You can't. Can you do anything else to them if you don't have a deep fryer at home? Yeah, it's, a, it's a very important to deep fry it. Um, the um, other things is important here is uh, to taste, to give that taste of the end, mm -hmm. the lemon taste. Oh, okay, yeah. It's very, very, very important to complete the dish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you leave it in the deep fryer for like. 10 seconds to be like little bits to give that crispy. Mm -hmm. So you can either have a breakfast on, or you can have a siesta to have a drink uh -huh. with your drink, with your champagne. Wow. Yeah. So is it quite a luxurious food or quite yes, a common day like, food? It's not like the expensive in Morocco. It's not that, that much expensive, you know. Mm -hmm. But the people like the drink is like, they took it as a tapas as well. Mm. They took it as a tapas. Would you say it's like a special it's occasion food or not really? It's not, it's not, it's not completely occasion food. It's like this is a, this is like a, can, can be as a side dish mm -hmm. for other dishes, like mm -hmm. uh, for the fish tajine. Mm -hmm. Especially in the summer, we eat a lot of uh, fish. fish. It's really good for you, isn't yeah, it? Yes, so it's going to be like a side dish, a small dish. Mm -hmm. It can be like, a, it's going as a tapas with your mm -hmm. drink. It's, um, it's can be, we, some, sometimes we eat, a, we eat it at breakfast. Oh, okay. Is yeah. it on its own at breakfast? It's, yeah, it's very healthy as well. So, really now. So leave it a little bit to dry from the oil. Mm -hmm. And this is it. So even though it's been deep fried, would you say you get moisture of the oil off? Or would you say it's kind of gone into the fish by now? No, it's not going to be like it's some oil inside. Like, mm. That's why we make it a little flour. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't suck, uh, the, the fish doesn't suck the oil. Okay. So you can present it just like this is one portion for the one person. So would you say it's still quite healthy then? Yes, it's very, very healthy, you know. Even though it's been deep fried? Yep. Very good. And then you can wow. garnish it with um, lemon. Then you squeeze some uh, lemon on it as well. 
It's very important is what is squeeze some lemon on it. And then the addition of the garnish is with the lemon and then some some herbs here or some olives is better mm -hmm. I think. Some olives here which is I marinate them as well. Mm -hmm. Moji marinate them in? Um, olive oil and then lemon juice, mm -hmm. uh, coriander and uh, garlic. Wow. There's a, of, there's a lot of like lemon flavors, like fresh flavors. Yes, it's fresh flavor. I marinate them by myself. Wow. So this is our dish. This can be present for one person. It's gonna be like a, it's gonna be as a starter mm -hmm. in the restaurant. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Now mm -hmm. we're gonna prepare some dip for the dish. Is um, mm -hmm. I leave the dish here. As the dip is dish, it's gonna be like chili mayo, but not like that chili mayo we can buy from the shop and. Uh, Homemade chili mayo. Yeah, homemade chili mayo, but it's very tasty, very nice. Tasty. Is it going to be very spicy? Yeah, it's not really my uh, spicy. That's <laughs> what I'm telling you. I don't put like too much chili in my dishes. So I got mayonnaise here. Mm -hmm. Put some mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is a, uh, it's called the adobo sauce. It's uh, from south of Spain. Okay. It's adobo sauce. This adobo sauce is like it's really hot, but we're not gonna use that uh, much of this um, adobo sauce. It's gonna just a little bit mm. to give the color and mm -hmm. the taste. Just we're gonna use the drizzle. We're gonna reduce. So what's that you're putting in? Butter. What's this you're putting in? It's the uh, adobo chili chipotle adobo sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we can squeeze it. We're gonna take just the juice of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can use normal chili if you don't. You don't have to complicate it yourself. But yeah. I want to give that nice smoke, smoky taste on my dishes. Mm. Mix so it's probably like a one to five ratio ish. I'm gonna take a whisk. A whisk. Yeah. Maybe blend them together. Is it important to use the whisk? Or could yes, you just it's very use... important to use the whisk to mix all the ingredients together. Do you it get air into the mixture, which kind of makes it fuller? Yep. So you're just going to put it in the bowl now. Use clay bowl, is that traditional of Morocco? Yep. Why do they use clay so much in Morocco? Yeah, because it's like this is the culture. We should present mm. it is like the other these people they don't like it. They wanna say something like traditional. Mm. It's more expensive than the normal place. Mm. But the people like they are big fun on of presentation. This. Yeah, so they are fun of this because they like this uh, kind of authentic look. Yeah. To make the crony you will need one and a half cups of corn flour, one and a half cups of plain flour. One tablespoon of sea salt, half a teaspoon of chili flakes, half a teaspoon of ground pepper, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, and a hundred grams per person of fresh white bait. Oh, poor fish, I'm drowning her. Okay. It's lovely. I can feel the spice, but you're right, it's not very spicy. Yeah? You can you just like it, taste it. It's delicious. It's definitely yeah. delicious. And the, the Moroccan kick to the white bait is definitely perfect. If you want a list of all the ingredients we've used today, please see our website, levant.tv forward slash hot and spicy. Also feel free to check out our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash hot and spicy. So until next time, be sure to keep it hot and spicy. Bye!